Florida representative of India. Mr. President, we would like to thank Under Secretary General and High Representative for Disarmament Affairs, Ms. Izumi Nakamitsu, for her update. We have taken note of the contents of the latest reports by DGOPCW submitted to this Council pursuant to Resolution 2118, as well as the monthly submission made by the Syrian Arab Republic detailing measures undertaken to implement its obligations under the Chemical Weapons Convention. We encourage continued engagement between Syria and the OPCW Technical Secretariat to resolve the outstanding issues. We continue to hope that the 25th round of talks between the Declaration Assessment Team and the Syrian Arab Republic will be organized at the earliest. We also hope that the in-person meeting between Foreign Minister of Syria and the Director General of OPCW will be held soon. Mr. President, it is our principal stand that the CWC is a unique, non-discriminatory disarmament instrument for elimination of an entire category of weapons of mass destruction. India attaches high importance to the CWC and stands for its full, effective, and non-discriminatory implementation. We support the collective efforts by all the parties to ensure that the credibility and integrity of this convention is maintained to the fullest. India is against the use of chemical weapons by anybody, anywhere, at any time, and under any circumstances. India has consistently maintained that any investigation into the use of chemical weapons must be impartial, credible, and objective. Such an investigation should follow scrupulously the provisions and procedures embedded in the Convention and in conformity with the delicate balance of power and responsibility enshrined under it to establish facts and reach evidence-based conclusions. Mr. President, India has also been repeatedly cautioning against the possibility of terrorist entities and individuals gaining access to chemical weapons, including in the region. The reports of UNITAD have also referred to the repeated deployments of chemical weapons by UN-prescribed terrorist groups and those affiliated to ISIL against civilian populations between 2014 and 2016. ISIL Daesh remains active in Syria and Iraq, where the group is seeking to rebuild its capabilities, as indicated by the al hasaka prisoner attack in January. India continues to believe that progress on other tracks, political and humanitarian, would also help in facilitating the overall political peace process in Syria, as advocated by Resolution 2254. I thank you, Mr. President.